Today, we would like to show you some places that are rarely visited by an average tourist. The border zone between Tajikistan and Afghanistan, where the river Panj leads from Tajikistan to Afghanistan. Historically, this river divides two countries here and, one may say, two different worlds. Tajikistan is an independent, stable, post-Soviet Republic. Afghanistan is a war-weary country, one of the poorest and most dangerous countries in the world. Let's not go into politics, but rather enjoy the pleasant mountain scenery. First of all, I would like to say a few words about the Panj River. Panj translates from Tajik as number 5. This river is formed at the confluence of the Pamir and Wakandaria rivers. The confluence of the Panj with the Vaksh river forms one of the longest and most full-flowing rivers in Central Asia, the Amu Darya. The height of the source of the Panj is 3817 meters above the sea level. The river flows between Tajikistan on the right bank and Afghanistan on the left. The length of the Panj is 921 kilometers and the basin area is 114,000 square kilometers. The average water flow is 1,000 cubic meter per second. Water from the river is used mainly for irrigation in both countries. The Dushanbe Karak road passes through the Panj Valley. According to some theories, the name of the River Five indicates the symbol of Ismailism, the Five. Islamic Ismailism has been practiced by Pamiris since ancient times. Karak is the administrative center of Gorna Badakhshan Autonomous Oblast. It is located in the southwestern part of the province and borders Afghanistan in the west. It is 525 kilometers from Karak to Dushanbe. Karak is the tourist center of the Pamirs. Many tourists' roads begin here. Tourists from around the world, year after year, come here to see the unique nature mountains covered with eternal snow, Lake Sares and other beauties of the Pamirs. The town is situated at an altitude of 2200 meters above sea level. It is one of the highest cities in the former Soviet Union and the highest city in Tajikistan. The climate in Karak is semi-arid. During the year, there is a small amount of precipitation. The average annual temperature here is 9.3 grades Celsius. Karag is an important regional center for commerce, transport and education. The town's educational institutions include Karag State University, a branch of International University of Central Asia, and the Aga Khan Foundation Lyceum. The strategically important Pamir Road passes through Korok, connecting it to Dushanbe and Kyrgyzstan's Ash. There is a road that connects the city to China via the Kulmakorakorum Pass. It provides the main flow of imports into the town. The Aga Khan Foundation has built five bridges here on rivers Panj, Ishkashim, Shugnan, Vanj and Darwas. The population of Korog is more than 30,000 people. The Pamir languages spoken by the local population belong to the southeastern groups of the Iranian branch of the Indo-European family of languages. There are differences from Tajik as it belongs to the southwestern group of Iranian languages. 
By the way, on the eastern outskirts of the city, you may find the Pamir Botanical Garden. It is the highest in the seas, 2,320 meters, and the second highest in the world after the Nepalese. On the territory of the Botanical Garden, one can see more than 4,000 species of plants from all over the world. Kalakump is the center of the Darwas district in Garnabadakshan Autonomous Region. The name translates as Fortress on the Kump River. This village is located 1,200 meters above the sea level. It is 368 kilometers from Dushanbe and borders Afghanistan. It is 200 kilometers from Karak to Kalaikump. It has a population of over 2,500 people. According to historical records, Kalaikum was founded in 15th century as a fortress. It was the capital of the independent Shahdom of Darwas until 1878. It was an outpost on the Pamir border where the eastern frontier of the Timurid Empire was guarded. The road from Karak to Kalaikum runs along the Panj River through a deep gorge. The road is very bad and can only be crossed by a jeep. In some places the road is very narrow where overtaking is impossible for a long time. Often you have to wait for oncoming vehicles to pass and make a way. But despite all the hardships on the way, the landscape with its high mountains and powerful stream of the Panj River is very impressive. From here you can see the life of the Afghans on the other side of the river and wish us all peaceful skies over our heads.